This is Sparta! Hello everybody and welcome back to War Thunder. My name is Spartan Elite 43 and I've got a few things that I want to go over with you guys. Uh, this game is really new, it's still in beta. So uh, for all of us console guys, it's probably a little bit weird or awkward to navigate the menus and such. So I just want to quickly go over what you can do to make things easier on yourself. So first of all, there's a couple different ways to navigate in-game uh, UI. Okay, one is to use your D-pad. You can use your D-pad, move the little uh, box over whatever, and then hit A. Okay, so you can go through the menus that way. You can go down to your, your vehicles and select whatever you want, and then you can hit A to select them to bring up the other menus as such and use B to back out of them. So those, that's kind of what we're used to. But if you use the left, uh, left stick, you can see that we've got kind of a mouse. But one thing that's driving me nuts, and I'm sure probably you guys too, is you would expect to hit A on something. Say, I want to do that. Oh, wait, it's still down there. That's because both of these uh, navigation... Uh, I don't know what you would call it. Both methods of navigation are open all at the same time. So you only use A to click on something that you've used the D-pad to go on to. Okay? And also, I haven't been able to get the D-pad to go up to, like, the armor view and stuff, right? So, uh, you're going to have to use your mouse. And I would suggest more than anything else... I, I don't know if you guys can hear the storm going on outside. It is ridiculous. Anyway, <laughs> anyway, um, so we are going to use the mouse. And I suggest using the mouse pointer because it's the easiest, okay? We're already used to moving stuff around, so we've got the, the nice little mouse moving, right? So uh, you can use the right stick to, to pan the camera. So if you want to get a look at your, your tank or your plane or your ship or whatever, you can use the right stick to do that. But if you use your uh, left stick to move the mouse and then come over here, you use the right trigger to click on things. So if I want armor, there you go. So we have a nice armored window that's sloped pretty decent. And then we have a little bit of armor around the cockpit to preferably keep your pilot alive, though, let's be honest, we've all been there by this point. We've had our pilot shot out of the frickin' things too many times to count. <laughs> so, let's go to X-Ray View. Ah, there we have all your modules. Isn't that cool? Right? So, uh, this is something you can do on tanks, on, on planes, no matter what. So let's say you want to, uh, go to a specific type of battle. You press Y. And it brings this up, but you don't notice any ships, right? You see air battles, you see tank battles. Where's the ships? And the ships will be right here in events and terminate or tournaments, terminates, terminates, guys. You know, I'm on it. So then you have ship arcade battles and ship realistic battles. Now the only reason I'm thinking this isn't in the main menu is because of the fact that this has still got a lot to go. Uh, there's very little in the way of ships at the moment. I mean, there's quite a few ships if you added all the different countries but I mean as far as like battleships and stuff I haven't seen any battleships or anything like that uh, it's mostly destroyers and gunboats and torpedo boats that sort of deal so uh, but yeah so you would come in here and then you can select one of these and take part as long as you've got your ships selected so you press B back out and then you can come down here and we can go to the army side okay so now we load in our tanks and there's my M4 M4A1 actually. Here's my M4. Give it time. There it is. There's my M4. So uh, yeah, this, this is how you move around in the menus and all that stuff. Now I've also noticed, and then you can go to the fleet as well and uh, change to your ships. And right now this is the only ship I got, which is just a little PT boat with a little gun on the front. And uh, it's not, I mean, let's be honest, it, it's got little guns. Those are the guns. <laughs> so you want to try to torpedo people with this boat if you can. Uh, that being said, it also doesn't have any armor, really. If we go up here to the armor, there, there is no armor protection on this vehicle. That tells you everything you need to know. Uh, X-ray it, and you can see where everything is. I love the X-ray view. That is so awesome. Uh, you can see the fuel in the back. You can see the, uh, the motors here. Three engines. I mean, it's just it's pretty awesome. So, uh, yeah, so that's that. Now, what else can I, can I tell you guys about this? Uh, well, if you press the left trigger, 
you can go into your research menu and you can use the right uh, right stick to transfer between Army, Aviation, and Fleet. So you got your tanks here, which go all the way down to the M1 Abrams and the American Tech Tree. Um, of course, you have to go through these. Well, actually, you don't. That's the good thing about uh, the way this game is set up. To go between tiers, you basically just have to research enough tanks in this tier, and you'll eventually unlock tanks that you can research in this tier. You don't have to follow straight down, okay? So you can play whatever you want in the tier, and then just work your way down. Also, for those of us who didn't know, there are anti-aircraft vehicles in this tank, or in this tree. So uh, that is also something you need to be careful about. Because not all of these are known for being uh, actual good tank fighting vehicles. Some of them are self-propelled uh, anti-aircraft, like this. And then you get down to this. And then eventually you'd make your way down and you would be in this beast with a uh, what appears to be a uh, minigun turret. So that'll be that'll be fun. I want to get a chance to try out everything. As you can see, I have played more tanks than anything else. But I've been playing tanks and aviation mostly. And I just got into tier 3. So uh, we're starting to get into some of the big, big boys like the M18 Hellcat. That'll be nice. We're on the M10 Wolverine right now. So uh, you can see, I want to get into the Hellcat. I want to be able to drive the M6, the M4A2, all kinds of good stuff. And then make your way down to eventually having M60 Pattons. I mean, come on. M48, M60 Patton. Like, you just, it's going to be fun. And then your main battle tank, uh, Experimental. It's going to be great, guys. Um, so yeah, so this is your tech tree for the Americans in uh, the Army. Then you have your Aviation right here. You can see we're making our way downtown. No? No song? Okay. <laughs> but you can see it goes all the way into jet fighters, guys. Not modern jets, but, but like Korea War jets. Um, like your F-4. Actually, F-4 is quite a ways up here, isn't it? I don't know where it's at, actually. Anyway, I was going to say the F-4 Phantom, but... Uh, yeah, so then you got your planes, and then you've got your fleets. And as I said before, they don't really seem to have any battleships, though they do have some big uh, sub chasers. You got your uh, motor gun boats, and then you got your motor torpedo boats. Um, and this is what we've got right now: is the 81 foot uh, PT boat, little torpedo boat. And then you can go all the way down to the USS Trenton, which is just a light cruiser, but it'll be fun. It's going to be fun. There's a lot to this game, so hopefully you guys enjoy um, that. But I also want to show you one last thing that I think is going to help you guys out. If you press Start or the uh, Menu button, whichever you want to call it, you'll notice that you've got leaderboards, options, and controls up here. So if you go to Options, you can come in here and uh, you can use the right stick to scroll. And you use the left stick to, to point the mouse, or you can go back to using the old uh, D-pad. And using a but if you use the the mouse you can see that there are different battle settings for each type so if you got air battle here's all the different things in air battle um, you can change your crosshair you know pointer aim mode on wait a second oh okay so uh, yes yeah. so we've got aerobatic smoke you, you got all these different things um, and then you can change the color of your crosshair too. So this is little things that are going to be awesome. Um, and you can turn the the uh, leading on or off depending uh, whether you like the challenge or not. Um, then you can also turn the sensitivity. Where is it at? I think there's a sensitivity for the... Uh, where yet? Am I wrong? Maybe that's in the controls. We'll go to look at the controls in a minute. But tank battle settings, right here. Grass in sight. This is something that I think will help everybody out. If you turn grass in sight off, it's supposed to take the grass out of the aimings, like when you're aiming down sights. Uh, that's something that the uh, PC players get in their uh, graphics menu as well. They can turn the graphics down to the point where they don't see bushes or anything like that. I don't know how well that works or if it's just if you're parked in a bush, the bush that you're parked in will not show up in your gun sight, which will be nice. Okay, 
So uh, that's definitely a thing. You can also uh, change all the rest of this stuff as well. And then naval battle, here's your, your naval battle stuff. And then battle interface settings, you can change uh, teammates' colors and all that good stuff. So there's a lot of stuff that you have control over. Uh, your speed measurement, altitude measurement. You can change this from uh, miles per hour, to, well, it starts out as kilometers per hour. Because, let's be honest, the U.S. is the only one that seems to be old school. Uh, but that's what I know, so that's what I use. And Fahrenheit instead of Celsius, miles, uh, feet, miles per hour, that sort of thing. So you can change that to fit what you understand, which is a huge thing. I wish other people would uh, get that into their head as well, gamers or game uh, developers. You know, being able to change things like this help us that aren't all metric. <laughs> Uh, some of us dumb Americans like to have imperial measurements <laughs> because that's what we know. Not everybody knows metric very well. So you can change all this good stuff. So this is how you get into this menu. Now you can go over to your sound menu as well and change the pilot's voice. You can change all of your other, you know, good old fashioned sound effects. Okay. So if we Actually, I just noticed something else. What was the uh, options? And then press X, post effects. Okay, so we can actually change, um, like, the actual colors and whatnot, too. So, that's cool. That's cool. We can take the lens flare down and all that good stuff to keep everything. But, I mean, let's be honest. The game looks good. So, I don't think I'm going to mess with these too much because I like the cinematic look of it. Uh, yeah, lens flare can get in the way if you're fighting at a distance. I, I could see that. But, uh, but yeah, so uh, if we, oop, cancel. Uh, if we go into controls, now we can look at this. We can invert Y-axis in the aircraft, which is a definite thing that I did because I was lost for a second. And then uh, you can invert Y-axis in a tank. I didn't really need to. And then invert camera Y-axis, uh, and I said no. So we're good there. And then gamepad control sensitivity, sensitivity in zoom, gunner sensitivity. I still like in tanks. I need it higher. I wish they would allow you to do different uh, gunner view sensitivity in um, different like game modes. So like if the tanks, you could have one gunner view sensitivity, and then the aircraft, you could have another. Because if you jump into your tail gunner with uh, high sensitivity, you cannot possibly get used to that. Like that is ridiculous. It. it changes so quickly so uh, I've turned that way down it was all the way up here so I've turned that quite a bit down and hopefully that helps you guys we go into advanced controls you can actually map your own controls which will be cool for uh, like if you go into weaponry you can toggle your uh, weapons here you got select primary weapon left trigger D up select sep secondary left trigger D pad down and air, anti aircraft weapons that'll all come in handy on uh, oh what do you call it that'll all come in handy on ships I'm sure when you've got multiple guns you gotta manage and uh, the tanks not so much except for this down here manual target targeting a primary caliber should be uh, pretty sure this is just I don't know I'll be honest, I'm not 100% sure on all of it, but this is where you can you can map your own controls. Um, and then you can just, like I said, use the right trigger. I just wanted to come in and show you guys some of this. I'm not going to be changing everything or anything like that. Uh, I wanted to give you guys what I've learned so far, because the game doesn't really tell you any of this stuff. It just kind of drops you in and, and lets you do what you want to do. So hopefully this wasn't too boring of an episode for you guys. Hopefully you guys enjoy... Uh, enjoy looking at uh, or learning hopefully I've been able to teach you guys how to use the menus better how to use your uh, cursor to uh, select things so uh, if you like what I'm doing punch the like button leave a comment below subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and as always I will see you in the next video